Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? And what we have here, you can multiply this directly x times x times x, same thing as x keep minus also x times x, we have x square then equals to 100 on this side. The next step here and take 100 to the left hand side, and we have x keep minus x squared minus 100 then equals to 0 here then also next step here we can write 100 as 125 minus 25 which implies this equation becomes x cube minus x squared minus into brackets 125 minus 25 close brackets equals to zero here watch this video to the end give it thumbs up put your comment share this video and also subscribe then next step here minus open these brackets and this becomes s cube minus x square minus 125 plus 25 equals to zero here and also here we can write 125 as 5 times 5 times 5 which is 5 keep and also 25 as 5 times 5 which is 5 squared then this becomes x keep minus x square and minus 5 keep plus 5 square equals to zero here then yeah we bring the power of three together that is we have x cube minus five cube also the power of two together we have minus x square plus five square equals to zero here then yeah we can write this as x cube minus five cube into brackets then here minus is common we have minus into brackets s square minus five square plus brackets and equals to zero here then from what we have here this bracket follows when we have a cube minus b cube which is same thing as a minus b into brackets then open brackets a square plus a b plus b square then also this bracket follows when we have a square minus b square which is the same thing as a minus b into bracket and open bracket a plus b then this equation here follow this and becomes x minus 5 into brackets then open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square plus brackets then minus also here this becomes x minus 5 into brackets then open bracket x plus 5 plus brackets and equals to 0 here then here we have x minus 5 common here when we factor it out this becomes x minus 5 into brackets the open bracket here yeah, this becomes x square plus 5x plus 5 square that's 25 then minus here yeah, remain into bracket x plus 5 plus bracket then closes brackets which is equals to 0 here that is next step here minus open this bracket this becomes x minus 5 into brackets then open bracket here we have x square plus 5x plus 25 and this become minus x minus 5 close bracket equals to 0 here and also i'm bring this together and we have x minus 5 into brackets then open brackets here becomes x square then 5x minus x become plus 4x then 25 minus 5, we have plus 20. 
close brackets equals to zero here. That is, now we have two possible cases. The first one, x minus y equals to zero, or we have x squared plus 4x plus 20 equals to zero here. And so in on this side, this gives us x equals to 5 which is a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation, where a equals to one, b equals to four, and c equals to 20. Applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus four ac all over two a. Then, yeah, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 all over 2 times 1. At this here, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square plus 16 then minus. 4 times 1 times 20, that gives us 80, then all over 2. Then, it's the same thing as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80 gives us minus 64, then all over 2 here. Which we can also write as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 all over 2. That is, yeah, from where we have root a times b, which can be written as root a times root b, we can separate this and we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 all over 2, which implies we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 is 8. Root minus 1 is i all over 2. Then here, yeah, we separate this as x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. That is, this becomes x equals to minus 4 over 2 is minus 2. And plus or minus 8i over 2 becomes 4i which implies we have two complex solutions here. Therefore, all together here we have three solutions in this problem. One is solution here, two complex solutions here. That is, we can say the first solution x1 equals to 5. Second solution x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4 high. And the third solution x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4i. One re and two complex solutions. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell or share this video with some and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.